Today, we're opening a custom Yu-Gi-Oh box that contains only old school Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another old school opening. Today's video is gonna have a custom booster box. I'm not gonna show you everything inside. I want it to be a surprise, but it's a lot of old school stuff. Well, it's, it's all old school stuff. 24 packs and they're all very, very old in terms of the year they were released. Like 2000, I mean, none of them are reprints. We're talking old school original stuff. Before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below what you think of this custom booster box. Which packs would you have liked to see and which ones did you really like that were in there? And speaking of giveaways tonight, I I will be streaming on whatnot at 5 p.m. Central and we have all of these cards to be given away for free. Yeah, completely free. All you have to do is hop onto Whatnot, be on the live stream. That's a collector rare gate guard. And that's not the one I pulled. It's a different one. You may have seen it in my short recently. We have a Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. We bought all of these off TCG Player. And uh, actually, surprisingly, most of them were in good condition. A couple were worse than I expected. But all of those will be given away tonight on Whatnot. We're also going to be selling cards like this. These are some of the cards that you will be seeing for sale live. So I, these are all mine. I've, I've gotten them from different collections. Some I've pulled. So I, I think most of them are collection stuff. But we've got some pretty cool stuff like lower end stuff we got higher end first edition we've got a big variety we got you know misprints here that's a gold letter gaia we got reprints we got originals this is an original exodia set right here you know not all near men or anything but pretty cool stuff we got black Desert soldier d mock i mean we're talking a lot of good stuff there's a dark magician girl very nice i think i did pull that one the other day uh, some very, very good stuff will be up for sale tonight. And it's not just those either. We have some old school packs like Legacy of Darkness and, uh, of course, Labyrinth of Nightmares. Stuff like that's going to be available. We're going to be opening packs. We're going to be selling singles. Just use my referral link down below. Get $15 for free when you show up. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I wanted to do that. We're going to open some old packs just to show some stuff that I'm going to be selling like tonight and also some singles. All right. Now that we are ready to open up stuff, I am excited for tonight because it's going to be a lot of fun. We're making our return. Uh, a lot of you guys have already signed up for that, you know hopped on i mean the sign up doesn't actually cost you anything it just simply gives you more you know some free money that's all it really does it also supports me so i'm excited for that oh we got a null and void super rare right off the bat from dark revelation 3 that is good i didn't know how to do the pack trick here because this is a kind of a random pack with like 13 cards or something so it's kind of hard to figure out that but this is a nice super rare very cool that's a good sign we're looking good already pulling foils out of these old school packs beautiful all right let's go to the next one which is a dark revelation 2 could we get the black cluster soldier the chaos emperor dragon it could be amazing i'm excited for this I'm doing a lot more old school openings recently because i did you know purchase some old school packs and when we do that i'm able to open a little bit more cards great maju de Izo, so i'm excited to open more cannonball we have sylphid the agent of wisdom mercury warrior of zera we got a ruxin special oh another foil mana core of darkness originally an ultra rare from invasion of chaos but now it has been reprinted as a super rare i mean even as a reprint this is still really old i think it's like 2005 or 6. we are starting off two for two be gone knave that is amazing wall of revealing light was limited to one or even banned re until recently triangle power and ojama delta hurricane very good start to this opening all right it's time flaming eternity i believe this is a hobby pack but i could be wrong i don't know we're gonna find out maybe maybe we'll pull an ultimate rare sacred phoenix of nephthys if we pull that i'm freaking out that would be insane it would be amazing. Let's see if we can do it. We have a one, two, three. I assume it's four because, yeah, it should be four. The DD Dynamite. Hand of Nephthys. Maybe that's a sign. Will we pull the ulti Nephthys? Nephthys. Golem Center. That's just hard to say. Blade Rabbit. Centrifugal Field. Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. Flame Ruler. Whirlwind Prodigy. And our first non foil is a forced ceasefire. Okay, that's fine. I think I've pulled that Nolte before. It actually looks pretty good. Now it's time for our favorite set, Ferrana Guardian. Why I say it's our favorite set is because we've opened a lot of it on the channel, but there's some actual really nice cards in here. Not just the foils. You guys know this. The, uh, the comments, the rares, they're crazy. There's some really, really good stuff. Got some uh, interesting stuff on the back. This, The print of Ferrana Guardian, I think, might be the worst. For a long time, people thought it was Legacy of Darkness, but these cards literally are different sizes like when you hold them like this you can't even shuffle them together because they're all different sizes it's bad charm of shopty pyro clock of destiny we were looking at that in our pequeno moth deck on twitch the other day we have bird face right of spirit cobra jar metamorphosis there's a good one that's the one you always want to see it's a really strong common in terms of value and uh, grave keepers watcher will take it because metamorphosis is really good that aquamaiden is also nice as well i think it's like 14 bucks last i checked all right legacy of darkness time will we pull something from the darkness last time we pulled a legacy of darkness actually wait you might you, actually i think we're, we're doing a different order for this video so i uh, know spoilers 
But a future Legacy of Darkness uh, pack has an interesting result, I'll say that. Uh, we have Dragon Dwelling into the Cave. I forgot, we're, we're flipping the order. I recorded that one first. Twin and a Wolf, we have Bubble Crash, Crash in the Bubble of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The Clown, Heart of Clear Water, Ominous Fortune Telling. Mysterious God. He's very, quite mysterious. He has the shush going on there. And I like, this is actually really interesting artwork because like it's him and then it's like a close up of his face, kind of like an anime or something or like a, maybe like a fighting game. It's like, you got like the profile of him. It's interesting. And a blast with chain. Okay, so blast with chain, nothing too crazy there. That's fine. We got a lot more good packs left in our booster box. Okay, I think this is our only Labyrinth of Nightmare pack, so we're gonna, just gonna do it now and see if we can pull something crazy, man. We were really open to some old school here, so yeah, this is this is nice. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I've done a lot of old school openings. I feel like I'm gonna post this one before the other ones just because like we're trying to line it up with the stream. So you might not have seen the other ones yet, so just look forward to more old school openings that I've been doing. Curse of the Mass Beast, Spherous Lady, they should be coming out soon. Shining Abyss, Mario Kuta, The Portrait Secret, and spirit of the breeze okay no one for one you know single pack magic but still cool stuff and speaking of cool stuff pharaoh's servant the servant of the pharaoh will we pull a jinzo i don't know i don't even know if it's a hobby pack one two three four but if it is and we pull jinzo that'd be amazing we have dark fire soldier numero uno the metal detector flying kamikiri numero dos three-headed gido steel ogre grotto numero dos why does pharaoh's servant just have so many number twos it's very weird earth shaker okay Mr. Volcano, he's pointing. Finger pistol, very nice. We have a uh, Gradius, and we have a Hayabusa Knight. Hayabusa, how you doing? On to Magic Ruler, we started two for two. Since then, not so much. So our, our booster box is looking a little weird. We gotta see if we can pull like a ratio. So, so far we've got what? I think it's, did we get a, no, two supers. So one, two, three, four. Can we pull an old school ratio, such as two ultras, four supers, and maybe a secret? Spear Creed, and that'd be pretty nice. Weather Report. Upstart Goblin, great original print of foil right there. Not foil, uh, common, I should say. Ceremonial Bell, a lot of good commons out here. Whoa, do you guys check this out? We got a, we got a damaged Ceremonial Bell. What happened there? Things completely destroyed. We got a Griggle, we saw him. Final Destiny, Penguin Knight, Eat Gaboon with the rat, and uh, Mother Grizzly, the mother of the Grizzlies. All right, now we have a European Metal Raiders pack, which is pretty interesting. I don't know if this is like Legendary Collection 2010 or if it's like 2003. I really don't know. Uh, based on just looking at it, it's pretty hard to tell because they both have the Red Banner logo. From the back, I would say it's looking more like Legendary Collection, but I really don't know for sure. If it is, I don't know how the pack trick's gonna work. Ooh, okay, maybe not. I don't know, Mr. Corsman, let's just keep going. King of Yummy Makai, look how dark he looks. I mean, it makes sense because he is a fiend. Castle of Dark, illusion, speaking of dark. The Jellyfish, very creative name. The Armored Lizard. Larva Moth, cousin of the Pequeno Moth. Love to see this. Okay, I was checking this the other day. I was doing a lot of sign cards for an upcoming thing that you guys are gonna see at some point, but Larva Moth, this thing takes two turns equipped with the Cocoon of Evolution, right? Yeah, yeah, Tribute on the second turn, equipped with Cocoon of Evolution. Two turns, you have to wait to go from a 300 attack moth to a 500 attack moth. Whoever thought that was a good idea? It makes no sense. It just becomes a, a bad version. It's just so crazy. Two whole turns. It's so bad. Feral Imp. I've been thinking about this a lot because we've been doing the Moth deck on uh, Master Duel, but wow, that is bad. Rock Hoku Grotto Numero Uno. And we have Cannon Soldier. All right, let's try another Dark Revelation 3. Let's see if we can pull something good because we started off well with Dark Revelation 3 and since then it's been pretty rough other than one pull. Rock of the Valley Haze, Element Dragon, Hyena. I don't know where the foil is here, so I'm just going. Malice Doll of Demise, Homunculus, the Alchemic Being. Spell Stopping Statue, does that mean we got nothing? That's a rare absolute in. I think that means we got nothing. Minefield, Two Man Cell Battle, Ritual Weapon. Wow, it means we got nothing. All right, Dark Revelation, here we go. Will we pull something epic? This is Dark Revelation 2. This could have the Blackluster Soldier. It could have the Chaos Emperor Dragon. I mean, for some reason, they didn't put Dark Magician Girl in here. They could have. Instead, they put it as a Rise of Destiny Special Edition promo. That's probably why they didn't, I guess. Oh, it's a rare right at the beginning. Oh, I hate when they do this. Grave Protector, Dark Dryceratops, Witch Doctor of Chaos, Seal Master, Balloon Lizard, Micro Ray, Solar Ray, Begone Knave, Goblin Thief. And yeah, okay. Yeah, so no foil. Unfortunate to say the least. But now we have the original, The Dark Revelation Volume 1 with amazing looking Yugi artwork. Looks great. Let's see if we can pull something good here. Will it be another first card rare spoiler? I'm not totally sure. Okay, not yet. Helping Robo for combat. We have a Vampire Orcus. Gravekeeper's Cannon Holder. 
Roulette Barrel from MFC, Thousand Needles, Greed Phantom Thief, Final Attack Orders. Wait, does that mean it's a spell, I think? Anti-spell, Adhesion Trap Hole, and a Big Bang Shot. It did mean that the original piercing actually was very meatier than this, but still pretty cool to see. Maybe you'd play Adhesion Trap Hole in your Trap Tricks deck. Back to the, what I believe to be hobby, Flaming Eternity. I have high hopes for these packs. To pull any hobby ultimate rare would be amazing. One, two, three, four, here it comes. That's a Sacred Phoenix at the back. Space Mambo, you gotta believe. Release Restraint. Catnipped Kitty. Poison Fangs. That's a Ruxin special right there. Flame Ruler. Centrifugal Field. Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. Whirlwind Prodigy. And uh, sold on GHQ. So we started two for two, and we are probably like 10 packs since then without a foil. Our hopes of pulling a regular booster box ratio is not looking good so far, guys. We gotta keep believing. Gotta hope we can pull something better. Let's go. We have a one, two, three, four. We have Pyro Clock of Destiny. Different Dimension Capsule. That is a Ruxin special. Trap does shoot. We almost missed that. I've Ruxin special passed like three good cards today. Gravekeeper's Curse. We got Cry You Well. Poison Mummy. Buster Rancher. He's ranching. Call the Mummy. And. Uh, ooh, another super barrel behind the door. So we are getting there on the super rare ratios. The high end stuff, though. Not seeming to be coming through, but we can still help. Legacy of Darkness time. Will you pull us a secret rare injection fairy lily? Let's go. One, two, three, four. We gotta believe. IFL. Let's go. Fiend Comedian. Wolf Axe Wielder. The Secret of the Bandit. I'd take Yada as well. That'd be cool. 107 weapons. Heart of Clear Water. Ominous Fortune Telling. Mysterious Guard. Stamping Destruction. And a Dark Ruler. Ah, oh, damn. Ultra rare. We will take that. The Hades. The only good card we pulled, pulled with Moist Critical was a Dark Ruler Hades, which is hilarious. So it's always bringing back that memory. That one's in pretty good shape. All right. Dark Ruler Hades. You love to see that. First ultra rare. So we're at one ultra, three supers. Booster box is possible now. Pharaoh Servant. Uh, we just need one secret. So uh, Pharaoh Servant, I would be happy if it was the Genso. Imperial Order, I'd still be happy, but I'd be a little less happy. One, two, three, four. Okay, maybe a lot less happy. We have a metal detector. Flying Kamakiri Numero Dos. Three at Aguido. It's just so many doses in here. We got the, it's another dose. We got the Earthshaker, Mr. Volcano, Science Soldier, and we have a Light Force Sword for Yugi against the Exodia. Magic Ruler. Come on. Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. We believe. That would be pretty big. I mean, I like Serpent Eye Dragon as well. I think it's a really beautiful artwork. A very classic card from the anime. Blue Eyes Tune's obviously better, but I'd take that as well. Let's see. Or even an Ultra Rare out of here would be pretty big. Relinquish would be awesome. Let's go. Reliable Guardian. Let's pull it. Spear Cretan. Weather Report. Gravekeeper Servant. Whiptail Crow. Performance of Sword. We have a Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. And we have Mango Ryu Ran. This would be cool as a foil. I kind of wish they had made it as either a super or an ultra. Let's go with one more Dark Revelation pack. So far, four foils. Pretty on par with old school packs, I'll say. I mean, I don't think we're, you know, doing worse or better. Just kind of on par. Just kind of what to expect. I remember last time this was not at the front, which is nice. Battle Footballer. So it means it's not a monster. It's going to be a trap or a magic rare slash foil guardian elma pixie knight could be this next one no union rider oh an ultra rare double spell so it is in fact a spell was, the, was it the only spell in the pack it was the only spell in, oh wait no there's one at the end oh okay so i guess they do put it in the middle double spell ultra rare our second ultra this is not a fantastic ultra rare but two ultras three supers that's our goal to have a booster box yeah so the rest of these battles scarred and then a couple of rares at the or magic cards at the end i should say okay they weren't even magic cards in dark revelation one they were already spell cards unfortunately flaming eternity first dead hobby look an ultimate rare could count as a secret rare for our normal booster box chase i'm gonna count that rescue cat that's money one two for a while that was a 15 dollar common if you believe that but uh, i did get a reprint after that we got release restraint we got cabinet kitty poison fangs divine dragon ragnarok rescue cat we're gonna be setting that aside i think it's still like three bucks the ushioni Chusuke the Mouse Fighter, the Good Goblin Housekeeping, and we have a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Crazy ultimate rare. Not available in a hobby pack, but very, very expensive one. Back to Magic Ruler. I still believe we can pull a Blue Soon Dragon. Come on, let's make it happen. Here we go. We have an Electric Snack. Minar, Flash Assailant, the Turtle Oath. Oh, that's a Ruxin special. Right past Taylor of the Fickle. Chain Energy, High Tide Geogen. Boar Soldier, and we have a 
black illusion ritual. This one actually looks slightly faded a little bit. Like, let me just compare it to another one. If you guys looked at this, it has a little bit of a different hue to it. Looks pretty nice. Black illusion ritual. And look how off centered it is. Wow, that is a, almost a miscut at this point. Look at that. That is wild that, you know, that border versus that border is insane. So that's our fourth super. We have two ultras and four supers. We just need a secret rare to have like, I mean, really, that's not even a standard booster box because a lot of times they don't have a secret rare. But as I said before, an ultimate rare out of here would that would count as a secret rare. That this has been a pretty good custom booster box so far. I mean, we've had ratio out of random packs, which is definitely not guaranteed. That's not a thing that's going to happen every time. Threatening Roar, another good common. Space Bombo, I don't think it has like value, but Mega Dob Marin, Release Restore. Strength. Arm Samurai Benkai with the OTK. Insect Knight with his Battle Prowess. Fulfillment of the Contract. Majigaya Panda. And a Meteor of Destruction. So no Ultimate Rare out of there. We have three packs left. Here's one we have not opened yet. Invasion of Chaos Red Banner. I believe that this is a non-Legendary Collection pack, but we're about to find out based on the cards probably. Yeah, this appears to be more old. If you guys check that out, it's got a little line through it. One, two, three, four. Will we get Chaos Emperor? Curse Silva for Ben Spell. Pretty crazy card, actually. Gigantis, very good card. Multiplication of Ants, Terror King Salmon, Soul Tigre, Primal Seed, Grimaju de Iza, Tower of Babel, and a Guardian, Angel Joan. That's a third ultra rare. Wow. So we have a third ultra rare to go along with our four supers. This is could have replaced our secret rare, hmm, you know, if it was a regular booster box. Two packs left. Original print magic ruler. Will it have our secret rare? And then we just, we're looking at an error box at this point, you know, <laughs> error box in theory, if this is a real box. Let's go. I don't want anybody to get, get, get confused and be like, hey, where do you buy that booster box at where you got all those old school packs? You know, they, where do they make those? They don't. I, I made it. Sonic Bird. Here we go. Tyone Numero Dos. Another Numero Dos. Snake. I, I guess that's Ferris Server. That's most of them. High Tide Gyojin. Boar Soldier. Hamburger Recipe. We have Psychic Kappa. And we have a Ultra Rare Spellbinding Circle. That's a fourth Ultra. What an opening. And that's a pretty good one. Spellbinding Circle. Wow. We are pulling crazy to end this opening. All right, guys, we're into our error booster box over here. Now we have a Metal Raiders pack, our final pack. Can we end it off with a Secret Rare Gate Guardian? Just make this a really crazy opening because we started off, you know, okay, we got a damage corner there. Started off two for two. Then we went on a little bit of a cold streak. Why? Okay. These cards are upside down. I don't know what's happening here. I'm just going to do this. I don't know if that's going to work or not. We're just going to go for it. But we started off two for two. Then we went like 0 for 10. Then we went on a hot streak. We have Ancient Elf. That's a Ruxin special. Niwatori. What does that mean again? Can't remember. Dragon Piper. We have more Infant. The Unhappy Maiden. Ooh, the one and only. Bacanio Moth. We're making a deck with him on Twitch. Armored Lizard. And we also got the Larva today. And finally, will we get a foil? Witch of the Black Forest. Wow, does that have like a damaged edge? That corner looks like it's cut almost. Wow, that is a pretty uh, weird looking card. Oh, it's just a little bent, I think. Okay, Witch of the Black Forest. So no foil there, but four ultras and four supers out of a booster box is very good. If you guys enjoyed this old school opening, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. And don't forget to check out Whatnot down below. You can get $15 for free on my stream tonight. Really anybody's stream, but I'll be streaming tonight at 5 p.m. Central. So make sure to come hang out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.